So tell me a little bit about more about detachment. Is to be um, conscious of your thoughts. So for example, if you're constant um, fear, you know, then that's a sign that you're detached. So then what do you have to do? You need to drop your fear. If you have anger, then that's another sign that you know you are angry because you're attached to a particular situation. Maybe you're attached to a particular result and you're not getting that result. So all these negative emotions are just signs that we're actually attached. So when we're not attached, our attitude should be um, rather very um, free. It should be like, okay, I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try to get this job, but I'm gonna leave it to the universe whether the universe wants to give me this. I'm gonna try to find the right person, but I'm gonna leave it to the universe um, if I'm gonna find the right person or whatever situation is. So you need to do um, your duty or do your um, try, but you cannot be attached to the result. That is the key to detachment. And that's where misery comes aligned when you attach your happiness with a mate or a job or a product, and that's where you pretty much fail. Yeah, because what happens is when you don't get that particular um, result, then you create pain for yourself. And then that pain creates is you know negative emotions. And then again, whatever you feel is what you're going to create. So your vibration is um, negative, therefore your result is gonna to continue to be negative. But when you're detached, you don't have any stake in it. You're like, I'm gonna try and it's up to, you know, God or the universe to give me it. And therefore you're, you have freedom. And, um, and then actually what happens is that you are able to achieve what you want to achieve. If you guys have any questions, you can email me at anishapatelconsulting at yahoo.com. Thank you so much, Nisha, for that. Appreciate your time. Okay. And with that, I'd like to say thank you for being part of Inspire Your Mind and have a great day.